Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a haul video for you guys. I did go, I did pick up one thing from Ross, a couple of things from Ikea, and a whole bunch of things from Daiso. Because they recently opened up a new Daiso that's super close, well not super close, but it's closer to the other ones, the other Daisos, to me, and that's gonna be super exciting because, I mean, who doesn't love Daiso? Seriously, and who doesn't love Ikea, and who doesn't love Ross? Let's just dig right into it. So I'm just gonna show you what I got from Ross. I only got one thing. Well, I actually got two things, but this one's more interesting than the other thing. So I got a shower curtain, which that's not interesting, right? It has like palm trees and stuff like that, like banana leaves on it. So I don't think you guys want to see that, but uh, but I did get some more sunglasses. If you didn't know, I have an obsession with key um, sunglasses, and they're now showing up at Ross. I don't know why they're showing up there. I don't know why, but I found these the other day. Um, I'm surprised they were still there because I haven't been to Ross in a hot second. Hot second, hot minute, or practically all week anyways I saw these in the little display section and I had to have them seriously I had to have them so they have the reflective lens and they have like a cat eye kind of deal to them and I'm freaking loving them so yeah I saw these and they had another one that had they were much smaller than these and they had leopard on the top part with like a little cat eye action to it but I didn't really, wasn't really interested in those. Um, I like these way, way better. And if you didn't know, key um, sunglasses at Ross are $14 or $13.99. Um, which is that does steal. And they come with a little pouch. Just dig into the stuff I got from Ikea. So I was just walking around because I did have an interview, a job interview um, around that area. So I decided, you know what? I'm super close to Ikea. Might as well go to Ikea, right? You can't go all the way over there and just not go to Ikea, right? So I went to Ikea and I was just walking around. I was going to eat some breakfast there and just chill, you know. As you do. I found this while I was perusing the organizational section for your closet. And I found these things right here. They, well, they kind of don't look like anything. They look like popsicle sticks or something. Or like a little fence. But these you cut down to size. And they're for separating, like creating little separating sections in your drawers. Which that's pretty cool. I bought one from the container store for my underwear. And it's like the best thing ever. Like you have little compartments. You have be all organized with your stuff so I found these and you cut them down and I got two of these and they were on sale for I believe $1.49 regular price was like three bucks or something so half price um, not bad at all so I got two of these and they're super long so and they have three three pieces in here so I'm gonna have a lots and lots of pieces to section off my drawers and stuff next thing I found at Ikea it said on the display it was new and there are these jewelry um, organizing things it looks like this, I mean mint, hello, I had to get it. It was only $2 and this is for your earrings. They did have a taller version of this but it was in black and that was for your necklaces and that one was I believe $4 or something like that, I don't remember but I got this one, it was in the color mint and it's for my earrings, I don't know, I thought it was cute. So I got it, it was two bucks. The last thing I got was this spray water bottle thingy and I freaking love it. It's a tall water bottle sprayer thingy for your plants. It was in the plant section. So that's what I use because I do have some terrariums now hanging from my um, window and I have some around my window and I'm just like surrounded by plants now. I'm like, have the green thumb knock on wood they don't die but I got this to just spray them with water and it's in the color mint and it was a dollar hello yeah I did some really big shopping at Ikea let's just dig into what I got from Daiso so that's the place where I spent the most money at if I go into Daiso I have to get some of these um, cotton little puff thingies to remove my makeup they don't leave like the little residue as like the cotton rounds um, I used to buy mine from the Dollar Tree, not anymore, ever since I found these at Daiso. They come in a two-pack, and they changed like the, like, the overall look of them. They used to be pink. I don't know if I have one around me, but they used to be pink, uh, the packaging, but now it's like white with little hints of baby pink in there. So it's just 90 pieces of uh, cotton puffs in each box, and it's $1.50. I mean, I hope these are the same ones, because I didn't find the other ones. And yeah, two boxes for $1.50 can't go wrong right I found this I do have some from the Dollar Tree the kind of same uh, gist of this this is like a little container but you put in your product in here and then you just pump it out I bought some of these from the Dollar Tree actually ones right here 
the Dollar Tree and they have like the, you know, I got it because it was color turquoise, but these don't work as well as the Daiso ones, I noticed, and so I decided to get another one to replace the one on my desk. I put a makeup eye remover on here and, or my cellar water and, or nail polish remover, that's what I have in my bathroom with my other one because I did buy one uh, before and I just had to get another one, so Daiso! And you know, if you know me, I had to go to Daiso and I had to pick up some more of the poor care packs. I mean, seriously, this time I only bought three. I contained myself. There was a big section of them, uh, but I only got three because I do still have some from my previous uh, purchase at Daiso. So I bought three more and these are just my best friends and I love these. They work pretty well. I was walking around the makeup section and I decided to pick up one of the eyeliners. It's the Clean Color Eyeliner Precision Waterproof. I love the like kind of like oil slick, I don't know, like the metallic -y look to it. It comes like this. It's just a your standard eyeliner and it's pretty black and I'm excited to use this. Hopefully it won't irritate my eyes because I've never used anything from Clean Color and a dollar fifty can't go wrong. Right? So the next thing I bought was this like nail buffer file thingy. It has three steps to it so you like buff, shine, and like, I don't know, shape or something. I don't know. I have one of these but it's kind of old so I decided to pick up a new one. That's that. Go along with the nail theme, I bought a nail file. It kind of looks like a metallic nail file but I'm not too sure if it's a, like one of those metal ones. Like, Cause like the metal ones they last longer than the flimsy, oh it is. It is metal! Alright! My mom is always looking for one of these. And, okay. This works perfect. This will last forever. So it's like a metallic-y, hard um, nail file. This is awesome. And it's like silver. I mean, hello. $1.50. So the next thing I found, the section was actually kind of sold out. Well, I got the last one, so it is sold out. <laughs> At least the day I went. Uh, this was the last one in the display section. I pr I'm pretty sure they had some other ones, like different kinds of brushes, but I found this one and it was the last one, and it's one of those like toothbrush, one of those toothbrush uh, looking brushes, and this was the last one in the section, the, like the makeup section. I decided to pick it up, and it's just like, I don't know what I'm going to use it. It says eyeshadow brush, but it's like super thin, like, I don't know, it's like, it's very soft though. I don't know where you use it to make a cut crease like blend out, smudge out your eyeliner. I don't know, I have to wash this first, but very flimsy, like it's very bendable. Um, it's black. Hello, $1.50, why not try it out? I'm gonna probably go back to Daiso and see if they like stock up on these again or if there's some different ones, probably, because it was like, whole section was like empty, so this was a, probably a popular thing that they were selling. I went through the accessory section, like the hair accessory section, and I found this bobby pin which I have been eyeing on eBay for like the longest time ever. It is a triangle uh, bobby pin uh, deal that you place in your hair, you know, if you're doing like a half pony and you want something to decorate your ponytail, you just pop this on there and it's just like a quick and easy way to dec like jazz up or glam up your style, like hairstyle. And it's like a triangle. They had different ones. They did. This one did come in gold and silver. I picked up the gold one. And why not? Seriously, why not? Next thing I picked up with is a bandana. I know this is like a new style. Well, it's like a thing I'm seeing around everywhere on Instagram and like all the fashion bloggers and all them people that are like super into fashion. A lot of people wearing bandanas nowadays. And so I decided to get one. They did come in, I believe, white, black, red, and blue. Or just black, red, and blue. I don't remember. I was going to pick up the red one, but I was like... Mm. So I picked up the black one. So I got this fountain pen, this calligraphy pen, and it comes with the pen and it comes with the cart cartridge. Blech, I can't say that. And I've just been really into the overall handwritten stuff, calligraphy style. I used to have one of these, but the ones that you actually dip in the ink and back in my college days when I had art class, my freshman days of art. And I think I still have that, but that's like kind of messy. So I got this one. It's just simple. You just put the cartridge in. Is this blue? I'm like, is this blue? It is blue, black. Ugh. I should have got the black one. Oh well. <laughs> Something to practice with. Uh, but yeah, I've got this. Something to practice my handwritten style. I don't know. I got it. And the last two things that I obviously couldn't um, wait to do this video because I already dug into both of them. 
that's how I am. And actually, I dug into them on the car ride home. I got the high chews in sours. Uh, they come in a bunch of flavors: um, lemon, grapefruit, and lime. I got the lime one the first time I like dug into them, and that's the only one I actually ate. They're not sour at all. I was expecting like. I don't know, like those really sour candies. Like, I was expecting kind of really, really sour candy because I love sour candy and spicy candy. No. I mean, they're like tolerable for people that don't like sour candy. So if you don't like super overpowering sour candy, you'll like these. And then I got some Poggy. Couldn't decide over all of them, but I got the original one. And I'm almost halfway done with it. I love Poggy. Poggy's like the bum. And yeah, I just got these. That's pretty much all I got from Daiso. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a lovely comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.